So you got the perfect mix with your Behringer XR18. Now how do you save that mix? Gerald here with G Friday Productions DJ Sign Lighting. This is a Q&A video and I want to give a shout out to Rexy Fan for asking this question. How would I save a setting if I were to use this for a church and found the perfect setting for mics and instruments? That's a great question and that's what we're here for today. But before we get into our how-to part of the video, go ahead down below, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we are looking for your support and videos like these are made out of your questions. So let's get into it. For the purposes of the question by Rexy Fan, we have the mix going, right? You killed it, you got your EQs where you want them, all of the uh, compressors and gates are all set, and we got our panning on some of the instruments, and it was just a great mix, all your um, sins and stuff like that. Everything just worked out great, right? So how do I save this? I mute everything, first step, because I don't want no surprises when I open this up to mix again. And there's another precaution, I pull my master fader, which is here, all the way down and I mute it. You don't have to do both if you don't want to, but that's just what I do. Now the actual save process goes as follows. As you can see, I have a save icon right there. So what I'm gonna do is click on save and it says save channel presets or I can save a scene. Today we're gonna to save a scene and I'm gonna to go to the desktop and look for a folder I created called Rexy Fan right there. And here I'm gonna put a name. So we're gonna call this Rex Save One into that folder. So I named it Rex Save One and boom, we are gonna save it. Now because that scene is saved, it doesn't matter what I do here, right? Let's say um, I open up this scene at another place and I just begin to mix with what I have. You know, it's like, oh, you know, the room dynamics change, so I need to make some adjustments or whatever. Boom, and I go to mix, right? And so basically, I mix that and I close it out, boom. And then I go and open it back up later to mix at where Rexy would mix. So I'm gonna open up XR Edit, boom, there it is. And Rexy's probably gonna say, well, now that I'm back at this venue, I want that same mix that I created before because it was great and it was awesome. So this is how you load a scene. You go right next to where it says save, and here's the load folder right there. And I'm gonna load a scene just like that. Go to my desktop, find Rexy Fans folder, which is here in this case. And we said Rex save one right there. When I click on this and open it, watch what happens to my faders. See how everything went back to the way we saved it? That's what's cool about this particular setting. And so if you move again, let's say you did an update. Let's say you mix this weekend and you know things change some, but overall you have the same uh, mix as you've done before. You can either rewrite over the old Rex Save 1 or you can create a Rex Save 2. So let's do that. Mute everything, because that's what I do. And I'm already muted here, but I'm still going to pull the volume down. Go to save, save scene as, find that folder on the desktop called uh, Rexy Fan, and Rex Save 2. And it's saved. So to load Rex Save 2, we just go here. And here, this is how we're going to verify we're loading Rex Save 2. I'm going to change things up a bit right here just because, and we're gonna load, load scene, find the folder, Rexy fan, Rex save to scene, right there, and watch what happens when I click open. It went right back to the Rex save to scene. Now let's load Rex save one, so you can see the difference. Go to desktop, Rexy fan, Rex save one, and you see the faders changed again. So basically, this is how you save and load a scene. From here, if I'm done with the mix, got all my channels muted, my master volume pulled down, from here I could really just go into the upper left box right there and close it. Um, another note, on my desktop, I do have a scene that I call X-Air Scenes and Snapshots. You know, scenes like we saved the whole entire mix and snapshots are maybe 
a specific channel setting or something like that. So I created a folder on the desktop right here. In this case, his name Rexy Fan, but on my main desktop, I created mine as XR Scenes and Snapshots. There it is, party people. We just covered how to save a scene using the Behringer XR Edit app on your computer. And if you're looking for more information about this, just hit us up at www.g5productions.com or make some comments below in the comment section there. I'm more than happy to help you. And uh, otherwise, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it, share it, share it as well. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sign and Lighting, and I'm glad to help you guys out today. Let's party.